hello everyone good day to you so today in this video i will guide you on how you can easily enable virtualization technology on your computer whether you are a gamer developer or it enthusiast this is a crucial step for running virtual machines efficiently virtualization allows you to run multiple operating system on a single physical machine this is incredibly useful for testing software enhances performance allows for seamless multitasking and is a game changer for those into virtual machines, emulators or even certain applications. So let's get started. Firstly, you need to find it out that whether your PC supports virtualization or not. To check it, right click on taskbar, choose task manager and click on performance. Look for the virtualization title on the right in CPU section. If it shows enable, your virtualization is already on. If it shows disable, we will show here how you can enable it in this video. If you can't find the virtualization option or it says not supported, your PC doesn't support it. Remember, if the virtualization option is missing or marked as not supported, your PC doesn't have this feature. No matter how many videos you have watched, but your motherboard doesn't support it. But if it supports and shows disable, then what you will have to do is just enter into BIOS mode. The key to access BIOS depends on your motherboard manufacturer like F8, F10, F12, Delete, Escape or any other key. In my case it is F10 as my computer is of HP company. But if you are still unable to identify BIOS key for your machine, I will help you to get access into BIOS by entering advanced startup options. So just go to search and types advanced startup and quickly open it through. Now you need to restart your computer. So make sure you just save and close any work if you have been doing. Now confirm and allow the system to restart to go to the advanced startup mode. The computer is restarting here so wait for some time. We need to open the troubleshoot option then go to advanced options. And here we are seeing an option UEFI firmware setting. Just click it and restart the computer. After the restart, your computer should enter into startup menu and showing the F10 key to get into the BIOS settings. The BIOS key can be different in your case. You will now be in the BIOS menu by pressing the assigned key. After enter in BIOS setups, you will have to find some advanced options or configuration options. Here you need to look for virtualization technology and just make sure that this option has been enabled. Then you need to save the changes and exit. Now the system will automatically restart to the normal desktop. Once you come to the normal window here, you have to make some more changes. So simply click on your Windows search and type control panel and open it. Now go to uninstall a program option in program section. Here you will see turn windows feature on or off in the left hand side and click it through. Here you will have to look for virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform and enable both options here by clicking on them and then it will be applying the changes and then it will ask you to restart the computer. So once the computer will now be restarting, after that if you go back again in the task manager and check your virtualization at the corner, you will see that it has been enabled. So this is the best and easy method to enable virtualization and hopefully you guys will find this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.